So right now, three of the best beef experts in the country are preparing for a culinary battle of a lifetime. I'm from Oklahoma City, the beef capital of the world. Chef Alex might be amazing at what she does, but beef is what I do. No one in this country is doing things with beef that I am. I bring those island flavors I love to push the envelope and use a lot of creativity. I am fearless, and fearless is dangerous. Chef Alex doesn't even know what today's theme is about. She's going to find out pretty quickly. Stakes are high. There are three experts out there right now getting ready. I want everybody that comes here to learn and grow and be exhilarated by the experience. And I want them all to lose. Buckle up, guys. Here's Chef Alex Garnaschelli. Chef. So you know we never make it easy on you, Chef. They cannot wait to challenge you in a beef showdown. Beef. All right. Oh, yeah. We have some of America's three best beef chefs that I'd like to introduce you to. Chef Kevin is an executive chef from Oklahoma City. The Oklahoma Gazette named him the best chef of 2020. I've been watching you for a long time. Only a couple years. I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> chef Demetrius Brown from Atlanta, Georgia. He's a Johnson & Wales grad and he was also an Eater Young Gun nominee. You're an Eater Young Gun? <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted that. This is Chef Gia from Dallas, Texas. Chef Gia has received a Rising Star nomination, and she's also run some of the top steakhouses in Dallas. I mean, if you can cook at a steakhouse in Dallas, watch out, guys. It's time to lock horns. You three chefs will be competing against Alex preparing a beef dish. We have two beef experts coming here to the kitchen to taste your dishes. We'll do a blind tasting and we'll rank them one through four. The chefs that cook the top three dishes are moving on to the money round. And the fourth chef will not. Even if that's you, Alex. I get no respect around here. <laughs> Since you are all here to challenge Alex, you guys actually get to pick the challenge. Let's do it, guys. The goal is to take down Chef Alex and I think it's going to be a huge advantage for us being able to pick what we will be cooking with. So the first thing you'll be choosing... Whoa. What kind of beef you'll be using? We have ground beef, chuck, and a tri-tip. What do you guys think? I think chuck has a lot more flavor. There's several oh. things you can do with it, too. Tri-tip is too lean. It's going to be dried. Mm -hmm. I like the tri-tip, but I don't want to say that, because then they won't pick it. Ground beef is out. Ground beef is out? Yeah, because anything can turn into ground beef. Are you agreeing with that? We have a Demetrius. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. This tri-tip is something people don't see a lot. Mm -hmm. no. I will say tri-tip. So tri-tip? Tri-tip. I'm all voted, so yeah, tri-tip. Tri-tip tri it, tri it is? Yes. If I were picking for myself, I would have picked the tri-tip. Because that's that ground up, basically. And if you get 15 minutes, where are you with that giant haunch? I can't make you feel good knowing that that's what you would probably pick, right? So what goes with beef? Potatoes, uh, veggies, I want to say that onions. Yeah. Potatoes, uh, potatoes, and a lot of them. Frozen tater tots, frozen sweet potato fries, and frozen hash browns. These are the only form of potatoes that you can use. I'm thinking hash browns. I'm kind of leaning towards sweet potato fries. So we can be more creative, think outside of the box. I disagree. I love this. They don't get along. Where, where? <laughs> <laughs> I need an answer. Two of us got sweet potatoes, and she has hash browns. Yeah. We're going sweet potatoes. This is how democracy <laughs> works. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Gia. No, you're not. <laughs> now let's find out what you'll be making with the tri-tip and the sweet potato fries. Something that is handheld or an upscale appetizer. Two completely different styles of dishes, right? Mm hmm I think with what we have, it kind of suits upscale. I, I have to take a walk. <laughs> I'm going to let Gia pick this one. A mise bouche. Mise bouche? Yes. Yeah. Let's do it. Upscale appetizer. I'm just going to pace around like a puma. You feel confident? Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Last and most important, how much time do you guys want to use? You can go from anywhere between one minute and 60 minutes. <sighs> but the longer you give yourself, the longer you give Chef Alex as well. 
I think an hour is too long. Absolutely. 40 it's between minutes? Between 30 to 40. I would say 40, because 30 might be against us. Final 40. I've seen Chef Alex make some really delicious meals in less time. 40 minutes is good. Yeah. 40 minutes. All right, guys. Only three of you will survive this round. Including me? Including you. I can't work like this. <laughs> Whoever wins first place in this round gets to exclusively choose all of the options in the next round, even if that's Chef Alex. All right, guys, you have all the rules. Only one thing left to do. Yes? Start cooking. Go! I'm not sure if these three chefs played into their hands or Chef Alex's hands because she would have picked the tri-tip. I mean, we're doing fine dining. This is Chef Alex's real house. And the fact that we're giving her 40 minutes on the clock, that's all the time she needs. Beef, it's a diva. It does take and need a lot. You don't want to lose the meatiness. It's the Lady Gaga of the meat world, you know? I'm gonna make brioche toast with steak. Ooh. With a little bernays with mushrooms, sweet potato puree, and caviar. This cut of beef is not fatty or rich, and I just want to add richness. That's what would happen in an upscale place. The tri-tip needs to be quick seared and cooked and rested, and then, in my opinion, thinly sliced, so that it's got a nice mouthfeel. Chef Alice is cooking against me right now, and I see her eyes, and she's not playing around, so I need to dig deep. Come on. Can't turn back now. i do a little charmoule marinated beef tataki with a sweet potato habanero puree with a grilled radicchio slaw. Paprika for my charmoule sauce. It's an African like marinade. I can't just put a steak and potatoes on a plate. I need to make something that's unique. Got a lot of pressure on me, but I'm banking on my creativity to really beat Chef Alex on this one. You know, in a mortar pestle, I got onions, garlic, cilantro, parsley, paprika, cumin, turmeric, getting all married together. Guys, we're cooking steak. We're looking for flavor, especially with the tri-tip. Doesn't have as much of the fat content, right? So you have to be able to marinate. You have to be able to impart a little bit of your flavor. And hopefully, this is where the chef's styles can come in, where they can show a little bit of their technique and also show a little bit about where they're from. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and in Texas, beef is king. Plus, I was raised in the countryside of Puerto Rico. I'm not gonna overcomplicate it. I'm using my background in Puerto Rican cuisine and all that stuff. Simple, salt, pepper. I don't wanna overpower, like the beef is a star here. I'm making air butter steak with a sweet potato puree and cilantro crumble. Butter, always butter. There's never enough butter in the world. To add Latin spice, I just put garlic and cilantro in it, made a herb butter while I baste it. Chef Gia has like five ingredients on her station. I don't know how much flavor she's looking to impart into this dish. Alex cooks with such precision, and I'm gonna beat her with pure creativity. So what I'm gonna do is confit my beef. In that beef tallow. It's gonna help amplify that beefy flavor. Understood. And then, sweet potato, brown butter, gnocchi. I like it, man. To flavor my confit, I'm adding bay leaf and I'm adding habanero. Beef tallow also is gonna help to keep it a little bit more moist because tri-tip isn't the most fatty cut of meat that you can get. I wanna try and keep this as tender as possible. I can smell the beef fat, I can smell the tallow that Chef Demetrius is working with. It smells like a steakhouse in here. Alex, she's formidable. She's very good at what she does. She's looking fierce. She got her game face on. And then watching Chef Alex cook, she doesn't play around when she's in the kitchen. She brings it. I got to take it up another notch. I'm here to take Chef Alex's name off that map today. 